Read aloud, Lieb and von Alta, The Curious Garden, Miss Winokur. Hi there, this is Miss Winokur again with 21st Century in Pasco, Washington. Today we're going to be doing a read aloud. So we're going to be reading a book called The Curious Garden, written by Peter Brown. Some words I want you to think about as we're reading the book are curious and the word dreary. And I want you to think about what do you think curious means? What do you think dreary means? And have you ever been curious about something? I'm going to ask you some questions about the word curious and dreary as we're reading. And so I wanted to give you a heads up on what to expect. So the book we're reading takes place in this town that is very dark and has no color to it. And this little boy Liam is very curious about this growing little tiny green garden and what he could do to transform it and bring it back to life. And so as we're reading, what is this text mostly about? And we're going to start reading in five, four, three, two, one. So well, this is Miss Winokur. I'm going to be doing another read aloud. Thank you so much for joining us, 21st Century in Pasco, Washington. So today we're going to be reading a book called The Curious Garden. And I want you to look at the title. What do you think the word curious means? Hmm. I know when you're curious about something, you're wondering. So I want you to pay very close attention to Liam, our main character, because he lives in a place that is very, very dull. The colors are light and it's not very bright outside. So I want you to watch him as he transforms his city into a luscious green garden. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. When you think of dreary, what do you notice about the pictures? Do you notice that the colors are very dull and that there are smokestacks coming out of that have buildings and that the grass is not as green. Dreary. I want you to think of that word dreary. So go ahead and turn and talk to anybody who's around you and think about what do you think that word means? Could you imagine living in a place with really dull colors and no excitement? When I think of dreary, this is what I'm looking at. A place without any excitement. However, there was one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzly days while everyone stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway as he did from time to time when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago, and since Liam always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for this curious boy to do. So there's that word curious again. What do you think Liam is thinking? We'll see. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed the door open, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color Wildflowers and plants were the last things he had expected to find up there, but he took a closer look and it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. So what do you think Liam's going to do? Go ahead, think about it. Liam had, may have not been a gardener, but he knew that he could stop. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener and the plants began to feel like a little garden. Just a little water and we'll find out what happens. Do you guys notice that the colors are getting a little bit more vibrant. Vibrant means a little bit more colorful. 
Most people in the stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead, the garden was growing restless. The tough little weeds and mosses were first to move. They popped up further and further down the tracks and were closely followed by the delicate plants. Over the last few months, Liam and the Curious Garden explored every corner of the railway. Do you guys notice that when you're looking at the pictures of the grass, do you notice that it's growing and growing and growing? And spreading and spreading and spreading? So this is a picture with words. I want you to think about, if you would have to write something that Liam would say, what do you think he would say in this page? Right, so I would think he's probably a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of things growing. But he looks, his face looks happy. Now here's another page that you guys can actually write some words for. I want you to pause the video. Go ahead. Right? What do you think Liam is thinking? He's overlooking the train, he's on the train tracks overlooking the side and he has this huge view of all these buildings. Hopefully you guys came up with some really great words. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season and for the first time he'd become a gardener, Leo, Liam had no plans to visit the plants. So all the snow is covering and what is Liam doing? He's gonna go sled. Do you see the picture of the three kiddos going to sled? Rather than waste his summer worrying about the garden, Liam spent prepping it for spring. After three cold months, the snow began to finally melt and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken a toll on the garden, but thanks to Liam's planning, his handy tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. Do you guys remember last winter? Two winters ago, we had a bunch of snow. I remember that when I had all the snow finally melted from our snowmageddon in 2019, that my grass looked very similar to this color. But as after the winter weather kind of disappeared and it got a little warmer, the plants started to look like this. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, that tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were closely followed by more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. Oh look, Liam, what is Liam doing? Yep, he's pulling all the weeds off the fire hydrant. Could you can you imagine if Plants started overtaking the fire hydrant. How would firefighters be able to put out fires without getting water out of the fire hydrant? Others mysteriously popped up all at once. So do you see Liam? He's dressed up. And do you see him? And he's delivering flowers to that man. But... The most surprising things that popped up were the new gardeners. So if you look really closely at the book, you see all those people who are gardening. Now look at this picture. So authors write, sometimes don't write words on the page so that you can imagine what the people are thinking and feeling and saying. Well, how do you think that person feels walking on a bunch of stairs with grass? Do those people enjoy the picnic?
Many years later, the entire city had blossomed. But of all the new gardener, gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. Right on top of the train tracks. And so, look at the city. I'm going to go back to the first page. So, do you remember this dull city with all the smokestacks? And the colors were very, not very bright and vibrant. Look at it now. So, by flowering, by watering the plants and watering the flowers, the city was able to come back to life, basically. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud today of the Curious Garden. And remember, when you are watering your plants, to make sure they get plenty of sunlight, plenty of water, and that they're, they have enough oxygen and air, because those are the four things that plants need to survive. And I hope you enjoyed the fact that Liam transformed his city into a beautiful green garden. Thanks, Pascal.